The self-love, am I right? If you've been in the personal or spiritual development game for any period of time and you've invested in growth, then you know that self-love is probably one of the most important things that any of us can be working on. Now, many people have taken plenty of good courses that have helped them become more efficient, to achieve more in their life, and just become basically a, a better person, right, in a lot of different ways. Now. I did uh, personal development for many, many years. I've done about 17 years of spiritual development and personal development work. I've taken endless courses and traveled the world speaking to tens of thousands of students about different aspects of how to alter their reality and to become more positive and different things like this. But somewhere along that path, about 10 years in, I realized that no matter how much understanding I had and all these tools I had gained on how to change my perception of reality, the reality was is that internally, I still felt pretty much the same and I was still kind of protecting myself from a lot of the same things. Now I knew this because when I would get around my parents, I would still get angry and saddened by similar things. I was in similar patterns in my relationships and you know when you learn about taking personal responsibility, you realize that you really are the common denominator in every area of your life. So if something is not changing, it's not transforming, then it's not because the world doesn't work, it's because some, you haven't worked some part in your system yet. And this brings me back to self-love because self-love is one of these things that most of us have learned through our development with our parents that we only receive love when we achieve something, right? Everything in our life is in order too. It's some kind of achievement. It's about money, it's about health, it's about relationships, it's about something. But we're always taking action for the most part, if not all the time, in order to achieve something. And then we have this false premise that if we just achieve enough, we'll finally receive the love, we'll finally feel how worthy we are, and life will you know, magically turn out and change. But if you've been pursuing this, like I have for most of your life, then you know that this is actually a false premise and this actually doesn't work. So this brings me back to self-love. Why is it that so many of us don't feel worthy? How come we can't just feel our worthiness outside of the world of achievement. Well, most of us haven't focused on the fact that we actually don't need to do anything in this life to receive love. And I'll say that again. You don't have to do anything to receive love in this life. That is one of the biggest lies that is currently propagating itself and being passed down from generation to generation about ourselves and what it means to actually experience our love. The reality is, is that our body is a divine intelligent force in being. Now in most westernized cultures we've given a lot of credence and a lot of value to our mind so we're constantly trying to learn more. We're giving ourselves more information and more knowledge but we're not giving ourselves more wisdom. Wisdom only comes from living an experience and feeling through that experience how it changes you. Now, if you think about your body, your body has this divine intelligence and knows exactly what to do. It knows how to breathe, it knows how to um, fix a cut or a broken bone and mend it. A pregnant woman doesn't need to give her body any feedback when there's an embryo in there and to give life and to grow this life. It just all kind of happens by, it, by itself through this divine intelligence, through this evolutionary and amazing energy, call it whatever you want to call it. You know, our bodies just have this intelligence. So notice how when things in your life happen, you don't let that intelligence work. You're always trying to give it feedback or manipulate it or control it and change your circumstances, again, to make yourself feel a certain way. And because of this, you keep maneuvering around self-love. You keep moving away from it by thinking that you have to do something to receive love. The reality is the only thing that you need to do in order to receive love is to start feeling through all the areas where you don't allow yourself to receive love. Specific examples might be when you actually achieve something and you still don't feel good enough. Or when somebody gives you a compliment and instead of really embracing it and feeling that and you know we make all these excuses like I gotta be humble or no no that's not really who I am or if you really knew no like if you really knew who I am then you wouldn't be saying stuff like that. That there's some kind of experience in your body in that moment like a collapse or a tension that happens and we don't let ourselves feel that. We think we're not supposed to be feeling that and we go up to our mind and we say, hey, why is this happening right now? Can you figure it out and can you resolve it? Or can you push it back down? I don't wanna deal with this. Or we reach for alcohol or drugs or sex or you know a million other addictions that we have as human beings to not fully experience that. If you wanna start experiencing the present, if you wanna start experiencing yourself, your self-worth, your self-love, 
then the challenge here is to start feeling more. The challenge is that when these experiences come and those uncomfortable or discomfort happens in the body, instead of running away and running to the mind to fix it, my challenge to you is to be with what happens in the body. Again, the body is divinely guided and it knows what it's doing the same way it knows how to mend a cut or mend a broken bone. It also knows how to move this energy, right? In emotion is energy in motion. So when we actually experience an emotion, the energy actually moves from our body. And as that energy moves from our body, our body gets new information through frequencies, through maps. It reorganizes things in the system and you actually transform yourself from within. This requires no thought on your part whatsoever. And it's why so many people get stuck in not ever actually achieving this like love. And again, using that word achieving, right? Cause it's so prominent in our culture, but instead of achieving love, just being love, just being self worth. And you can only be through your body. If you want to do, do through your mind. Both tools are excellent, but when we only do all the time, then we get lost and we never actually get to being in love with ourselves. And this is the key, is to start feeling through the sensations in your body so you can be in love, so you can feel your self-worth. And as a system reorganizes, I promise you that you will radically see a shift in how you perceive reality, the results that you get, and the things that you attract to yourself as the frequencies and the bodies and the maps change and reorganize the system. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna get more videos like this, we put out training videos every single week here at Satori Prime, and just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. My name is Guy Ferdman. I'm the co-founder, mentor, and coach here at Satori Prime, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.